Hey, what's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a relatively new switch from Ubiquity. I say relatively new because, you know, I'm about four to five months late on this, simply because now is the only time I was able to get one. I was able to pick one up at Micro Center today, and that switch that we're gonna be talking about is the USW Flex Mini. Now the box is already opened, and I have already taken out the contents because I already recorded this video once, but my audio didn't work. So I'm having to re-record this video again. Connected to my main network, which again, my entire network is PoE. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my favorite network switch of all time, it is the USW Flex. If you wanna learn more about that switch, I'll have a video linked up here. I did a full on dedicated video about the USW Flex, but to provide a brief rundown of it, it's a five port gigabit managed switch that gets its power from PoE and it also redistributes PoE to all of the other four ports. So I can take a single cable because my entire network is PoE here at my house, plug it into port one, and that's all it takes to power the switch. Now this switch has an MSRP of $99. And for a switch which gets its power from PoE while redistributing it is a really good deal in my opinion. I'm not always using the switch for things that need more PoE. So really, I could use any switch that can take in PoE. Now that's where the USW Flex Mini comes in. The USW Flex Mini retails for $29. I had to pay about 35 bucks for it because I had to pick it up from Micro Center. They have a little bit of a markup on Ubiquity products but I was unable to find this on their website. Now this switch is still a five port gigabit managed switch that gets its power from PoE. The only difference being it does not redistribute that PoE. There are a couple other differences, like the regular USW Flex can only be powered via 802.3 AF, AT, or BT PoE. The USW Flex Mini can be powered the same way that the USW Flex can, as well as with an included USB-C adapter. Now I say included, but the USB-C adapter is only included on the single pack of the Switch. You can also buy the Switch directly from Ubiquity in a three or a five pack. Now the three and five pack drop the cost per Switch by about two bucks, but you don't get the USB-C wall brick with it. Now taking a look at the Switch, we can see that it has five gigabit RJ45 ports. And if we take a look at the back, we can see it's USB-C power port. If we read the labels on the front of the Switch, we have port one, two, three, four, and five, but port one doesn't say port one, it says PoE in, because this switch still does get its power from PoE. The USW Flex came with an easily detachable mounting bracket that was also magnetic, so you could stick it to, you know, poles, refrigerators, or really whatever you want. The USW Flex Mini doesn't have a magnetic mounting bracket, and it doesn't provide PoE to all the other ports. That's how they were able to get the cost down to $29. Now, with the physical overview of the Switch out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the computer and get this guy adopted into Unify. But first, we have to power it up. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off of the original USW Flex here. I'm just gonna take, you know, a little patch cable here. And once I plug this in, we can see that the USW Flex says that it's giving PoE and our Flex Mini is being powered up. Okay, so joining me for this segment, we have a special guest, my dog, Bella. Now, moving into the Unify controller here, we can see that we have a USW Flex Mini, even though it only says it's MAC address. And we can come over here and click Adopt. Now, once this guy gets adopted, we can go ahead and start changing some of the settings. So taking a look here at port one, we can see that it's our uplink port, but we can come over here and select port two and do something like change its switch port profile to IoT. Change port three to IoT as well. And the same thing with port four. We can then come to port five here and put this on our main LAN. We can also come over here to clients and see what devices we have connected to each of the ports. We can come take a look at details. We can see this device does not have a temperature sensor. So if it's gonna be behind a media cabinet or somewhere where it might be getting warm, you might wanna just check up on it once or twice after you install it to make sure it's not running too hot. But we can take a look at our uplink, see that we have you know full 1000 at full duplex. We can come down to downlinks and I don't actually have any devices connected into the switch directly but we can come over here to config, look at services, take a look at our management VLANs. So if we're using a different VLAN for management than we are as our main LAN, we can change that here. We can also enable jumbo frames, come down here to network, configure IP, we can change the IP manually and do our subnet mask and all of that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on DHCP. We could also move this device to a different site. I'm not gonna click on that because that'll show you all the sites that I'm managing or we can you know, forget it, do some common settings between different switches, and just take a look at our general settings. We could turn our LEDs off, I'm gonna leave it on, and this LED switch control here only applies to the little Unify light here on the side of it. It doesn't apply to like the link status lights. 
but I'm gonna keep this as use site defaults. And for the alias, I'm just gonna call it USW Flex Mini, just to make it easy on ourselves. Now, where would this be useful? I can already think of a few places where I'm gonna be deploying these guys in my house. So for me, I have a separate IoT network that has all of my PlayStation, smart TVs, Roku's, little Wi-Fi smart plugs and all that stuff. And that IoT network has some pretty heavy DNS filtering and traffic blocking, and they can't see any other devices on the network. They can only see the internet and only a limited amount of the internet in order, you know, for them to function. So my smart TV isn't gonna be, you know, reporting all of its data back to LG or to Roku or to whoever. My smart plugs aren't gonna be phoning home to their Chinese companies because I just manage them over the local network. So I can have dedicated ports here that I can plug in my PlayStation, my smart TV, and my soundbar to. Still have, you know, the internet and networking going to those, but I could still have port five where I plug in my HTPC. So that way that can still, you know, see all the other devices on my network because it's something I trust a lot more because I know what software is running on it. I know what I have installed on it and it's something that I trust. This is a really cool switch and I'm really happy with Ubiquiti's Flex line of products. These devices make my life easy. I don't have to run separate power. I can still manage all my VLAN profiles. I can still disable ports. Instead of having a dedicated home run cable running to all of my different access points in an area, I could put one of these switches up in an attic, so long as it stays relatively cool enough, but I could put one of these guys up in an attic and have multiple access points coming off of it. The USW Flex Mini just builds off of that and is just an extension to the USW Flex. It's not a replacement, and it's not replacing the USW Flex in my heart as my favorite network switch, but it's changing how I define my favorite network switch. It is no longer just the USW Flex. It's the USW Flex lineup. So for 29 bucks, this is one hell of a network switch. My dog is joining us for this segment, but even if you have to pay the extra $6 Micro Center markup, it is well worth it and you won't regret it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the switch. Do you run these switches? Do you run Ubiquiti gear? Is there another switch that's similar to these that I don't know about yet? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one.